Sam Lovies. Another day. Another dollar. <laughs> Another vlog. <laughs> Q&A. I think it's been a long time since uh, we did this, you know? Yeah, the Q&A. Q &A. I think last year, the last time, I think. So actually, I posted ako sa story on my Instagram that me and Franco will be doing Q&A vlog kasi sobrang tagal na since uh, nakapag Q&A kami and I get a lot of questions. Tingnan mo yan. Oh, you have a lot of questions really, don't you? Yeah, this, this was before I, um, I get sick. So ayan, I think you were in um, Italy with mom <coughs> this time. I'm still coughing, <coughs> especially every morning when I wake up. Mm, still have a lingering cough, don't you? Okay, well, we're gonna do it pa. Let's do start December 1 and we're gonna do a vlogmas until Christmas. Mm. Okay. Pato pato big. Who's waiting first? Too big, too big, too big. Too big, too big. Oh. Rock <laughs> scissors. Rock cut. Oh. Okay. How many children do you want in the future? From Aleza underscore Rose. How many children do I want in the future? I think you you you, you said something about this during our wedding in Philippines. I think the more children I have, the more of my kids will give me money when I get older. So the earlier I can retire. So what then? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, what? <coughs> maybe I think I'll be luck. I'll be fortunate enough. I feel privileged enough if I have one. Is it? It's a blessing to have one, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm happy with one. You're happy with one. Yeah. I think I'd like to have two at least. I'm greedy, like you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you just get one, maybe our kid will be bored of just playing. By herself or by himself. Alone. Play with that. Play with me. You always working. Yeah. Too big, too big, too big. Too big, too big, too big. Okay. Why are you so guapo? Oh my God, who is this? <laughs> Feeling to. I'm a joke. Wow. Uh, have you, okay. Oh, this is an interesting one. Mm. Have you tried smoking or eating weed? Really? <laughs> yeah. Who asked that question? <laughs> And the name is Angel. You're not Angel. If you were talking about smoking or eating weed. That's okay. Answer that. No, I haven't. I haven't tried any drugs, um, and I don't want to. Like, wala. Parang hindi ko na kita sa dili ko na mga try na mga drugs. Hang on. So, hang on. I got the answer. Uh, what is it? What, what did Catherine say? I'm for recreational use, but not. Uh, no, I'm for medical. I'm for medical use, but not rec recreational use. <laughs> That's my answer. That's my answer. Oh, you tried though? Huh? I'll repeat again. <laughs> I'm for medical use, but not recreational use. <laughs> so I play <laughs> Yes, okay, next. Okay, we is next. Okay, this one. What's the most <laughs> challenging time you went through during your relationship and how did you guys overcome it? Uh, maybe long distance relationship. Yeah, during the lockdown, right? Yeah, during lockdown. Because uh, that was the time that um, like everything is What's it's that? closed. Yeah, everything is closed. Uh, walang flight. And then Franco eventually, like luckily, Franco have a dual passport. So. Yeah, exactly. So before the lockdown, before I met Joanna, I spontaneous, spontaneously just decided to get a Filipino passport, so dual nationality. And it was just by coincidence I met Joanna late, what, maybe a year later? Mm -hmm. And the lockdown happened. Luckily enough, I had my Filipino passport so I could actually go back to the Philippines and see Joanna because they was only allowing, um, I think it was Filipino citizens back into the country, right? So yeah. if I didn't have that, I wouldn't have been able to go. Yeah, we'll be like, um, probably we're gonna be like, have a long distance for like almost two years. And I don't might think- not, Maybe it might not have worked out because we wouldn't have been able to yeah. see each other. You never know, right? That was like after we met for, after we met in Boracay and then we've been traveling for a month mm. and then right after that the lockdown happened, right? Yeah, the lockdown happened yeah. and then I, I risked everything to go and see Joanna. That's when we didn't know about COVID, how dangerous it was, um, the quarantine in the Philippines, I wasn't yeah. sure about it. So I spent two weeks in the prison, in that quarantine facility, <laughs> waiting to see Joanna, isn't it? And then when I saw Joanna, 
my love. And we kissed. Yeah, I was very lucky to have Franco no like he's very um like he he will risk anything for me. Oh, oh. I said, oh I'll risk. <laughs> I, would, I would die for you. I dedicate if there, my bullet, if there was a bullet coming and I saw it, I'd jump in front of you. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then my last words would be but that was yeah, that was definitely our most difficult time with COVID, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, from Marge. Hi Marge. Hi Zai. If you're given the chance to choose, what gender do you prefer as a firstborn, Joanna Franco? I would say girl, but it doesn't matter. Kung ano yung ibibi guy, basta healthy si baby. Okay lang. How about you? I think boy for me. Boy? Mm. Boy? I think boys are easier to, I think, with with a girl. No, they're not easy. Yeah, but you can just let boys do what they want. You know, with, with girls, I think you have to be a bit more protective, isn't it? You know? <laughs> because, isn't it? Because he's very protective. If he, if Franco boy, is very protective to me. Like, if it's don't a, wear that at the gym. <laughs> if it's a boy, it's, eh, do what you want. Go on. You want to climb the tree? Climb the tree. <laughs> but if a girl wants to climb the tree, you have to say, no, you can't climb the tree. So you want this. boys to be our first child? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't mind actually, but I think boy. I don't know. I haven't got experience with kids, guys. You tell me at home. <laughs> Do you have boy and a girl? Which one is more? Which gender is more? I was a girl, but I don't really mind. But a healthy lang yung baby, it's okay for me. Yeah, I don't have preference really. It's whatever. But <coughs> yeah. If, if I had to choose, probably boy. Yeah. Okay. Next. Any tips for relationship to work? Oof. That's from Dan Daniel. 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 Daniel Lee Ivy May. Ivy May. Daniel, Daniel Ivy May. May. Any uh, tips now for relationship to work? Yes. I think you just tips? have to oh, be. Joanna, Joanna can give the answer to this. One. <laughs> I think you always have to follow. To, um, your man should follow your woman. <laughs> no, this is. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, what can you say? So always, uh, always, um, <laughs> 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 always, always, um, always be truthful, always be honest. Um, yeah. Always be... don't don't shout with each other. Don't be angry. <laughs> always yeah. learn. Always learn from. No, I think always learn from each other. And yeah. Try and um, adjust yourself. Yeah. Understand each other. Yeah, to be more, to be, because you have to understand the other person. Yeah, you really know what? Even though we've been, work. we've been like living together for like two years now with Franco, we still like get to learn things every single day, right? Yeah. Like from each other. Because I think that's the hardest thing you, you you have to do in a relationship. You have to analyze yourself, and then you have to see where you need to improve as a person to adjust to your partner. Because if you're just thinking me, me, me all the time being selfish and then forcing the other person to adjust it's mm. not going to work because you have flaws as well don't you yeah yeah as long as two people are doing it if it's only a one-way thing it won't work that's why you both have to, to look at yourself and always be open like for example like sometimes franco forgets to date me sometimes like i always tell him like oh you're forgetting to dare to date me take me outside for dinner or something and then you know because sometimes he could be really busy and not thinking about it <laughs> you to date me too <laughs> So it's a two way around, but mostly he takes me to date once a week or sometimes once every two weeks. Yeah, that's, that's, that's enough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Nika Yoshino, would you give advice to a Filipino foreigner couple to live in the Philippines? Would you give advice to a Filipino? Yeah. How about you, love? Would you? It depends, it depends really. If you are financially capable of living in the Philippines, yeah, Why not? finance is obviously a massive thing. Yeah. If you have income and you're living in the Philippines, then and you can afford it. Then why not? You just have to plan to see what your if what your future plans are, and if you think that it is in the Philippines financially and um, in your personal life as well, then yeah, why not? Yeah, because eventually one day that's gonna be our plan. One day to live in the Philippines, but for now we really have to be smart of think about like future for us, future for our kids, you know? So yeah, eventually me and Franco would love to 
to live in the Philippines. But gradually, dahan dahan tayo kasi, you know, money is very big part of our daily life, you know, expense, expenses. So yeah, you just need to find the right balance, you know, because I think you need to find the right, right balance between the financial aspect and your kind of happiness where you want to live as well. So it just needs to be discussed as a, as a couple, doesn't it? Yeah. Someone asked me, they called me siya, to Joanna. My friend ka ba na di mo na friend ngayon? How to move on from that friendship? She's asking me, if, do I have a friend before that is not my friend at the moment anymore? And how to move on on that from friendship? Um, yeah. A lot actually. Like, I made friends since, what, since I was elementary, high school? And then up to today, like for me, uh, as I get older, my circle is getting smaller. I can just count it with my five finger. Kung ilan talaga yung mga true friends ko. And I think for me, like if you mga tao na you think toxic sa buhay mo or hindi sila magandang influencer sa buhay mo, don't be afraid to cut them off, right? How about you, love? Have you experienced that? That you're no longer connected with your friends from before? Or you're not, no longer talking to them? Some, yeah. I think as you grow, you get older, you want to be surrounded by people that have good influence on you. Yeah. And support you. So, yeah. this comes important as you get older. Especially yeah, well, as old as me now. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you just have to, like Joanna said, don't be afraid to kind of reevaluate. Who, yeah. who really support you as friends. Yeah, because that's what I really realized now. Because before, you know, I do have a lot of so-called friends. And then eventually, you know, like as I get older, then I realize like who they really are. And pag, pag ako kasi yung tipong tao na pag nakikita ko yung totoong ugali ng isang tao, talagang alis ka sa buhay ko. Like, I will never ever talk to you. Yun. Kasi parang kung hindi ka magandang influencer sa akin, ba't makita ka kaibiganin, di ba? So I wouldn't waste my time to spend to that people, right? Mm. <laughs> I, understood. right. I understood all of that. And I would no, just say, yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? Especially if, if they're plastic, backstabbing you, and just saying bad things behind your back. Mm. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay, cut. What's your opinion about one night stand? No. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> what is this? First weed, now one night stand. What questions do we get? <laughs> one night stand. Uh, one night stand. That's that's, per that's that's none of my business. If you want to have a one night stand, you have a one night stand. It's all up to you. You know, <laughs> you know one night stand, it, you know, it happens. 2023, isn't it? One night stands happen. <laughs> so just make sure you know what you're doing, you know. Use um, protection. You use protection, you, you, you stay safe, and don't drink too much. You know, make sure that the other person that you're with, you trust them, and they're not dangerous yeah. people, because especially going out in this day and age, especially going out to the club, you never know what's gonna happen, right? So just make sure it's, it's your, you know what you're doing, you're safe, and you're protected, isn't it? Yeah. Mom, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but it's 2023. <laughs> Mom will not. Will not agree with Mom it. still thinks will I'm never a, agree with Mom it. still thinks I'm a virgin even though I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I there's more questions actually and dummy dummy questions but let's do one more then. Okay, one more. What's the most heartwarming no this is from Mallows.exo. Thank you, Mallows.exo for taking the time to ask your question. What's the most heartwarming sentence your partner told you that M-A-E oh, that, that, No, that made your relationship even stronger? Oh, wow! Great question. What a question, yeah. Hang on, great question, Malo.exo. Great question. I feel like I'm in a beauty queen. Answer. I've got the perfect answer for this one. Wow. That will blow your mind. What is it? No, you go first and then I tell you. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I forgot. 
See? I'm gonna remember this. Please, she's not dry, man. Come on, tell me. You must be the woman. Yeah, I would say uh, the time that Franco called back to me. Nah, he really do prove that. He was saying that I will come back to the Philippines to prove that I really love you and I want this. I want this relationship to work. That's it. That, that's one thing that I will never forget. That's it. That's it. <laughs> now ask me. Yeah. What? Well, ask me the same question. This <laughs> What's the most heartwarming sentence your partner told you that made your relationship even stronger? Because that was the time that you proved that you love me those times. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, lovies. I think that's it for today's vlog. Because it's a bit long na yung vlog. I think this is like 21, 22 minutes already for how many questions. So, I in love. Let us know if you want part 2 of this QA vlog. And also do comment down if you have any more questions. Uh, Samini from. So I hope you enjoy this Q and A vlog. It's been a it's been a while. It's been a long time, right? Yeah, diba. So Franco will be going to the gym, and I'll be just staying here because I've been working out for two days straight. So I've been gym in the last two days, guys. Okay. So ayon mga lab, maraming maraming salamat sa panonood ng vlog mas natin number one. And comment kayo if ano yung mga content na gusto niyo ng makita sa vlogmas natin this year kasi we started our vlogmas last year right so yeah. please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet and turn on the notification bell para ma-update kayo whenever we upload a new vlog bye, bye. see you on our next vlog be kind <laughs>